First, we'll look at the many video layouts available in Spontanea. Then we'll look at application sharing, whiteboarding, file transfer, and then how to stream a media file. When your cursor enters this part of the user interface, four icons will appear. In the upper right-hand corner, you will find the Windows three standard icons. You'll notice that we have two video windows represented. On the lower right-hand corner, labeled 1, Local Camera, and in the middle, labeled 2, Remote Camera. Clicking on our Local Video window will cause it to move into the main user interface. Clicking on the Change View will cause the primary video to move over to the right and the other videos to move over to the left in a smaller size. Clicking on the Next button will rotate the windows. The third button toggles between 2D and 3D. Right-click on your local video to return it to the lower right-hand corner. Now let's take a look at application sharing. Click on this icon to bring up a list of programs you have running. Select desktop to share all of your applications or select a single one. You'll notice in the lower left-hand corner the application sharing toolbar has popped up. Let's take a closer look. Toggling this first icon will either show or hide the Spontanea user interface. Clicking on this icon will rotate the videos. Click here to take a snapshot of what you're sharing and place it in the whiteboard. The stop button will cancel application sharing. The transfer progress bar shows you that the other side has received what you're sharing. Click here to expand and show the video windows. And clicking here will minimize the toolbar. The sending sharing graphic is an ideal placeholder to position your application that you are sharing. And of course, you can put your PowerPoint presentation in slideshow mode. Up till now, we've been the presenter. Let's take a look and see what the remote side is seeing. As you can see, we can watch their mouse movement and what they click on. The application being shared scales appropriately. Clicking on the application being shared will take it full screen. Clicking on it again will bring it back into the layout. Clicking on the resize button will scale Spontanea to a smaller size. Click on the video tool layout bar to change views, rotate videos, and toggle between 2D and 3D layouts. Clicking on any of the windows will detach them and allow you to resize, relocate, and even move them to a second monitor. Clicking on the whiteboard icon will bring up this application.
Our next collaboration tool is file sharing. Click to open up a file folder, select your file, and then click open. The file will be transferred to all other participants with a notice showing up in their texting window to open file or open file folder. Clicking on this little arrow will expand a window and display the list of participants in your meeting. If you are the moderator, you will have control to turn on and off services for individuals. For example, you can disable application sharing or turn on and off their camera or microphone. To stream a media file, click on the Options menu, click Share Media File, then locate your file, and click Open. The media file will replace your video stream. You will see the video. The others will see the video and hear the audio. The video will continue to play in a loop until you click on the Options menu and uncheck Share Media File. 